Okay, now let's check out the arpeggiator section. I'll initialize the preset. So I have this simple sawtooth sound. Let's actually change it to a pulse. And change the pulse width a little bit. Alright, now let's turn on the arpeggiator. So just like any arpeggiator, when you play a chord, the arpeggiator arpeggiates the chord. If you turn on key latch, you can let go of the notes and you have both hands free for playing around, maybe with the gate time. That's gate fully open and that's fully closed so it's very staccato. There are some additional controls in the R clock menu. So we have the clock rate, you can change the speed of the clock. Maximum is 240 BPM. You can also change up the source for the clock, internal, external, MIDI, USB. I'll just switch back to auto. On the next page, you have the arpeggiation type, up, down, up, down, the variations on that, as played. I like the chord mode, where it just repeats the entire chord that's been played. Random, switch back to up, down. There's a rhythm option. Instead of the notes repeating the same musical subdivision, you can use one of these rhythmic patterns. You get 33 different patterns. Octave range. You can go all the way up to six octaves. Next page we have a swing control. So add some swing to the arpeggiation. The sync rate control is over here. The fastest it goes down to is 30 second triplet. We can speed up the BPM. And this is the fastest the arpeggiator goes up to. With the internal clock that is. Add some more octaves. And that sounds pretty cool. Lastly, there's a key sync option, so the arpeggiation always restarts every time a new note is played in. I'll slow this down so it can be a bit more obvious. Let's also disable the swing for now. So as you can hear, every time I add in a new note, the arpeggiator restarts. But with key sync off, the arpeggiation continues but does not restart. So it's kind of free flowing like that. We can try the arpeggiator with the effects running. Some reverb. Chorus. I'll key latch it so I have my hands free to play around. So as you can see, you can treat the synth like a performance instrument. Cool, so that's the arpeggiator.